shelter. Had a bad thunderstorm last night, so I was glad we were in the shelter. Did not tent camp. Possum did. He got a little damp, but his tent's dry now. It was breezy after the rain, so everything dried out good. This is right on the trail. This is the water source. Kind of see a little view through the trees, some mountains. It's pretty up here. I'll tell you what, New Hampshire and Maine has been so hard. I used to wake up every morning excited to get on the trail and to see what the trail was going to bring us, but since we quit hiking and started climbing, <laughs> I dread the trail every day because I know it's going to be terrifying every single day. It's really hard to keep a positive attitude out here unless you like climbing. I mean, some people love this stuff. I don't. It's such a struggle every day trying to just get, you know, nine, ten miles in when you're going less than one mile an hour. It takes you all day because of all the climbs, all the rock climbing and stuff. It's just everybody that I'm hiking with and around, you know, they're just done with New Hampshire, done with Maine. <laughs> they're so tired of this. Like this it's only probably seven feet or so but you can't walk down it you'll slide and you have to try to figure out how to get around on the sides grabbing onto trees and stuff See if I can get up this. There's a little foothold right here. That's what I'll use to get up. A toe hold. There's a toe hold there, or I could walk around that way maybe. That might be even better. Because there's some multiple toe holds here. You can get up, yeah, you can walk up that. And then the rock is grippy. I hadn't even been on the trail 15 minutes. There's this cliff. Another one behind it. I gotta climb up. I have to put away my phone. This one probably has some pretty good spots because I can step there and then up through there. So we'll see how the next one is. Top of Poplar Ridge, 31 and 20. It's really pretty over there. You can still see the sunrise. It's early.
just climb down that several stories. Not walkable in the middle. You have to go down the roots. Kind of make your own trail at the edge. I'm not even videoing all of them. Next one, I think we're supposed to walk down that little thing there. It's the only way I can see down. People have climbed down and gone around down at the bottom, it looks like. That's steep too. This part of the trail has excellent trail man maintenance. Look at this. There are rocks to step on, going through swamps, bogs. Look at all the way up. I've been doing this for a while now. I can actually walk, so thank you to the trail maintainers here that have done all of this work on the trail. Got a water crossing. Look at that boat mangled over that rock. Wow. Shouldn't be too hard. No bridges here in Maine, so you have to cross. We did have a thunderstorm last night, but the water levels have been low so far for all of our water crossings. And this looks like it's a rock hop. I should be able to do this without any trouble, I think. Probably keep my feet dry, how cool is that? Made it across, my feet are dry. It's just a rock hop. But that boat, that crazy? It's all rocks. At least it's not a, it's a cliff, but it's rocks. So I can have things to step on. Not a bare rock face. It turned, heading up here now. Still rocks, I can climb those. Where that water is. At the top of Lone Mountain, 3,280 feet. Whew, it's been a climb up from that stream. Man, I have gotten to do some hiking today for a change. The day started out pretty bad. And then I have had trail. It's been a lot of rocks and a lot of uphills on the trail too, but I've had trail like this for a good bit of the day. Today I'm happy. <laughs> this is hiking, I love it. And I've actually been able to put in some miles. About ready to stop for lunch. I think it's like 1.30, 2 o'clock or so. And I'm already to shelter. Not sure exactly how many miles in I am, but I know I've done a lot more miles than I would have otherwise at this point. <laughs> because I've been able to hike. That shelter we stayed at last night is the last place that Geraldine Largay, the through hiker who disappeared um, up here in Maine on her through hike, she, um, I guess, I think got off trail to use the restroom or something and disappeared. They didn't find her. They searched for her for two years, I guess, and they found her body two years later. And she was, I guess, just died to have exposure and starved in her tent. She'd set up her tent somewhere off trail, about two miles off trail. 
just was lost. Climbing up Spalding Mountain, which is a ski resort. The AT doesn't go all the way to the top on this one. And I am not gonna climb <laughs> the extra climb to get there today. It's a long one and it's very steep. Near this spot completed the final link of the entire 2054 mile trail dedicated August 14th, 1987 by the volunteers of the Appalachian Trail Club. So it's a big, big thing right here, but it also means that we only have 200 miles left. <laughs> That's awesome. 200 miles, it's all we've got left. 200 miles. I've walked 2,000 miles. <laughs> Look at that, 2,000, a huge number. We're having a good thunderstorm. Ooh, just got my tent set up in the rain. It's pretty dry inside. They're just hitting all around us. Two have hit really close, close enough that I screamed. <laughs> We're not up on a ridge, we're kind of down a little bit. Not far though, but down in some trees. So we're probably fine. 